This is part 87 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery select menu widget with examples. jQuery select menu widget duplicates and extends the functionality of a native HTML select element to overcome the limitations of the native control. So if you look at the HTML here, we've got a select element. We've set the style attribute to control the width of this select element to 200 pixels and within the select element we've got five different options so basically we've got five countries here and notice each option has got a value and a label label is what the end user sees and if you look at the second option here we also have set the selected attribute to selected so if we view this HTML in a browser you know this is how it looks like so we will get a drop-down list so here we are not using any jQuery so this select element will be rendered as a drop-down list and since we have set this second option attribute selected to selected by default when this drop-down list is rendered India will be selected so I have this exact same HTML already typed on this web form so if we view this page in the browser this is how it looks like and notice by default India is selected so here we are not using any sort of jQuery now let's go ahead and see how to use the jQuery menu widget so to use the jQuery menu widget we will have to find this select element so let's find it using its ID so within our jQuery ready function I'm going to use the jQuery ID selector find the select menu and on that I'm going to call jQuery UI select menu function so let's save our changes reload this page and look at what is going to happen to this drop down list so this is jQuery select menu widget now here jQuery is not doing anything big it is just applying some styles to the drop down list now let's look at an example of using select element with opt group elements now first let's understand what is the use of opt group element the opt group element is used to group related options in a drop down list and if you look at the example right here notice that we have two groups the first group is country USA and that group has options belonging to country USA so in this example we have cities belonging to USA within the first opt group in the second opt group we have cities belonging to India so these option group elements are especially useful if you have large number of options in the drop-down list now with this HTML this is how you know the drop-down list will be rendered so we have a group USA there and under USA we have two cities and then we have another group India under that we have got two cities so from these options you can only select the members of a group but not the group itself so let's look at this in action so again I have this HTML already typed in the interest of time so let's go ahead and copy that HTML and paste it here now at the moment we don't have the style attribute set so let's go ahead and set the style attribute so style equals width to let's set it to 200 pixels so let's go ahead and save our changes reload this page and look at this we have country USA I'm not able to select that group itself but I can only select the options underneath that group you know in this case New York and Los Angeles similarly I can select the cities of India but not India itself okay so here we're using jQuery select menu if we don't use the jQuery select menu so let's comment out that line and when we reload this page you know here it is using the native um, select element and this is how it will be rendered the styles are not applied by jQuery now let's look at an example of changing the button icon so first let's understand what is this drop-down list button icon now as far as jQuery select menu is concerned the button icon is the image that you see on the right hand side here notice that it is circled now by default the button icon is this UI dash icon dash triangle dash one dash s so that's the name of the icon for the list of all jQuery icons visit this URL so when we visit that URL we can see all the icons that we can use with this drop-down list okay now the default icon so let's go ahead and uncomment this line 
save the changes and let's reload this page. So now jQuery has applied the styles and look at this. We have an icon here. That's the default icon. Now for some reason, let's say I want to change that to something else, then you can use icons option. So if you look at the images that we have here, so we've got several images. Now let's say for example, we want to associate this icon to the drop down list button. To do that, I'm going to use icons option. And again, I'm going to use another JavaScript object and I want to change the button icon to that image. So let's save our changes and let's go ahead and reload this page. And look at this, it should change the icon. Now we have a downward pointing arrow. Now, to control the width of the select menu, we can use width option. At the moment, to control the width of this drop down list right here, we're using the style attribute. Now, if I don't use the style attribute, then you know we have no way of controlling its width. But if you want to control it using the jQuery style, then you can use the width option. So along with the icons option, I'm going to use width and I'm going to set maybe the width of this one to 300 pixels. So we specify the width in pixels. So let's save our changes and reload this page. And look at that, now we have the width of this drop-down list to 300 pixels. So you can either use the style attribute or you can use the jQuery um, width option of the select menu. Now let's look at an example of retrieving the selected item value and label. So if you look at each option right here, it has got a label and a value. Now whenever we select a value from the drop-down list, I mean any item that we select, we want its value as well as label. Okay, so how do we do that? To retrieve the selected item text and value, you can use the select event. So when is this select event fired? This is fired whenever you select an item from the menu. So let's go ahead and retrieve the selected item text and value. So I'm going to hook up the select event handler function. So I'm using the select option here and we are going to associate a function. The, this function will be called in response to that event and this event handler function is going to receive two parameters, the event object itself and the UI element that triggered the event. In this case, the UI element that triggered the event is the select menu itself. So what I'm going to do here is use the JavaScript alert function and we have the UI element and on that I'm going to call item and to get the label we use label property and let's append a string to that. So label equals whatever we get from that property and to that let's append a space and then we want value. So value equals again to get the value I can use ui.item.value property. So let's save our changes and reload this page. Look at this, when we select Los Angeles, we get label is Los Angeles, value equals two. Similarly, when we select Bangalore, we get the label and the value. Thank you for listening and have a great day.